Hello everyone, welcome back to RP Guru Tech Talk. My name is Rena Prasad. Today's video is the sixth in the series of Salesforce learning journey. If, if you have not watched the other five videos, I will share the link of the playlist uh, for your reference in the description. Uh, if you ever wondered how to optimize your Salesforce experience or improve your user interface design, you're in the right place. In this video, We'll break down what page layouts and lightning record pages are, how they function, and when to use each one effectively. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding on how these two components work together to enhance your Salesforce environment, making it more user-friendly and efficient. So let's get started and unlock the full potential of your Salesforce setup. So let's look at what a page layout is. A page layout controls the arrangement of fields, sections, buttons, and related lists on a record detail page in Salesforce. It determines what users see and interact with when they open a record. The key features are field placement, sections, related lists, buttons, and actions. So when to use a page layout? When you need to organize fields and control field visibility on a record page. It, it can be used to customize the user experience based on profiles. So you could have different layouts for different users. It's, it can be used to define which buttons, related lists, and fields should be available on the page. Uh, I will show you practically how this uh, looks like in uh, Salesforce. So let's go to Salesforce and check it out. In this video, I'm going to use a, a developer org from my uh, trailer playground. I'm going to use a username and password I have set up for this. Uh, once I log in, uh, I, I'm going to click on the uh, gear icon to go to the setup. So click on that and then set up. Once I go to the setup, uh, I had created a, an object called RP Guru Tech Talk in my previous video. I will share that link with you if you're not seeing that. Uh, so I'm going to that uh, uh, object and fields. So if you see, uh, this is the object I've created and the fields uh, are a simple set of fields here just for uh, our reference. Uh, it's basically for the subscribers and by default a page layout is already created for it so if i click on the page layout there's already a page layout so click on the page layout name and now this opens the editor where you can edit your page layout and if you see here uh, there are different uh, sections on the left side fields buttons and also if you see uh, it's defaulted some of the setups so I want to change some things. If you say, I don't want the owner here, uh, so I don't want the owner in the layout. I can remove it by clicking on the minus sign there. And once I do that, it's that field's gone from the layout. Uh, so, and the other thing is, if you see, I want to move around the fields uh, a bit. So I keep, um, and I can hold the left mouse button and uh, drag it and drop it uh, to the section or the place where you want the fields are for. So I can keep moving them around. And if you see, it has uh, uh, it has also uh, an email. So I'm gonna, as you said, as I told you, you can move these things around. There are buttons. There's no default buttons for my my uh, object side. There's nothing I'm going to use for that. Um, so the next one is I click on. If you see that there are no buttons, I mean, in in when you build some new stuff, you might have buttons, and uh, and then we have the quick actions. Uh, there's not. I've not built any quick actions for this object, so uh, I'm not going to use any of the default there. Uh, and then we have the uh, mobile and lightning actions, uh, which will be, uh, which is actually open to desktop as well as phone. So there are some uh, default ones which may not make sense for my uh, layout. So then we have related lists. So we can see uh, it's defaulted some, but it, uh, those are not valid for me. I have a RP Guru Tech Talk as one of the uh, uh, related list. I'm going to drag and drop it to the uh, related list section. So if you see, it has the uh, RP Guru Tech Talk history. So uh, this is how you can update your page layout. Uh, and once you have, uh, and the other thing, one more thing I want to show you is if you see there are sections there. So I'm going to search for section. Uh, in the quick find and drag a section and place it below the main information page. So the sections could have um, one column or two columns. So depending on how we want the layout to be there. So I'm going to call it uh, subscriber contact and uh, it's two column and say, okay. Once I do that, uh, I can drag my email, uh, the email field to that so that 
I'm going to say the contact. If I add a new phone uh, field next time, I can add that field here. So this is how you uh, do this and then hit save and uh, ignore all the statements. Those are standard. Say yes. So now the page layout is ready. Um, so one more thing you have to do is now you have to assign a page layout. So if you see there's only one page layout, by default, all the profiles are assigned these, the single page layout. But if you decide to have more multiple page layouts in your setup, you can uh, assign different uh, uh, pages to each of the profiles. So depending on the profile and the page layout you want to use, uh, you can set them up. So if you see by default, there's only one here, but if you had multiple page layouts, it, uh, you can assign multiple page layouts to different profiles. Uh, so this is how, and let's go back to the main app page. And I'm going to search for RP Guru Tech Talk, uh, the tab. So I already created a default, I mean the dummy records. I'm going to click on that. If you see on the left side, uh, you can ignore the right side. On the left side, you have the fields uh, which had uh, moved around and set up a new section. Everything is there. You can click on the related list tab. And uh, once you've seen the layout on the details, now related list will have my RP Guru Tech Talk history, which I had dragged and dropped there. So it has all the information, ignore the right side. So let's take a look at the next steps. Now let's look at what a lightning record page is. A lightning record page is more advanced, flexible way to design record pages using the lightning app builder. It allows you to drag and drop components to create a visually rich and dynamic page. So let's look at the key features. You can have custom layouts, choose different templates to organize a page. You can have drag and drop components. You can drag, uh, add standard components like related lists, chatter, and custom components. You can have dynamic forms and visibility. So you can show or hide fields based on criteria like profile, record type, or field values. And also you can have performance optimization like improve loading times by displaying only relevant information. So when do you use a Lightning record page? When you need a more interactive, visually enhanced user experience, if you want to use custom components and integrate Lightning components, when you need to show hide sections dynamically based on conditions. So let's practically look at how uh, to manage and uh, play around with a Lightning record page in Salesforce. Let's go, let's take a look. I go back to my uh, setup page for RP Guru Tech Talk uh, custom object. Now I, I check on Lightning record pages link there on the left. You can see it's blank and because there's nothing created by default. I click on new. I say I, it's record page. I want a record page for this. So select that and hit next. And once uh, you hit next, you will give a label. So I'm going to give a label uh, RP Guru Tech Talk subscribers or something like that. So um, so once I do that, I select the object so I can search for RP Guru and I find the object, a custom object, hit next. So I can have different layouts. I can select whichever I want. Uh, let me see which one is ideal for me. So I'll just take uh, one of these. Once I select that, um, like uh, it's going to be header, right sidebar, say done. Uh, it opens up the layout for me. Um, so I can drag and drop things here. So. The first thing I need to do is uh, the page layout, which I had created in my previous demo. I'm going to do search for that. So I'm going to say record and details. So I'm going to drag that and place it in that uh, uh, box there. So it's defaulted uh, the layout I had created. And now I'm going to search for action uh, and recommendations. Uh, and I don't need that. Let me try something act like act, high, highlight panel. I'm going to put that on the top so that it defaults uh, some of the details and also put some buttons there. Uh, these buttons I'm not referring to, I mean, not looking into the in this demo because they could be defaulting something that not so relevant for me, but still I'll just show you how to, uh, how the highlight panel looks like. So now I'm gonna drag the activities. If you see the activities uh, is on the rightmost side. So I'm done. So say save, I click on save, and then next I will say activation. I need to activate the uh, Lightning record page. So I once I click on Lightning, there are different, uh, once, I, once I click on activation, there are different ops, options, uh, org default, app default, and app and record. So uh, uh, app default is like you can assign this uh, uh, Lightning record page to uh, different apps, uh, specific apps. Uh, so 
you can see there are different apps available i can assign it to any of them or some of them and uh, in and then this app uh, record type i'll talk about record type in the future uh, i'll show you what that is but by default for now i will say org default which is basically it means uh, all apps are having visibility to this and say desktop and phone and say save so my lightning record page is ready so i hit the left arrow there on the top and go back to my um, uh, like I go back to my RP Crew Tech Talk app. Uh, so now I just uh, now you can see the Lightning Record page is created. I go back to Record app and uh, search for RP Crew Tech Talk again. Um, so once I search for that, open the uh, dummy record I created. You can see uh, the the layout is the, this is the Lightning Record page. So it has all the highlight panel and the buttons. As I said, those buttons are not relevant for me, but I, I will not go into those details how to fix that, but for now, in the future, I will do that. And you can see the high activity panels on the right side. Everything is set. Hope this gave you an idea how to uh, set up a lightning record page. So we looked at uh, what a page layout is as well as what a lightning record page is. So how do they work together? Page layouts determine the default arrangement of fields and related lists inside the record detail component on a lightning record page. A lightning record page is provide the framework where the page layout is displayed along with other components like charts, related records, chatter, custom buttons, etc. So this is how uh, they, we, we can differentiate and understand how they, uh, a page layout and a lightning record page work together. Let's do a quick comparison of the two. Uh, page layout controls field layout, but the lightning record page does not. The page layout does not allow uh, UI components, but the Lightning Record page does. Both page layout and Lightning Record page support related lists. You cannot drag and drop components into a page layout, but you can do it in a Lightning Record page. A page layout works in Classic, but the Lightning Record page does not work in Classic. So hope this uh, video helped you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on Salesforce. Talk to you soon.